Yes, so do that the whole time for now. But you're doing good, you're keeping the same speed and that's hard for a lot of people, except his head is going to the left. So you're trying to keep him traveling in a straight line. And the walking horses can be a little wobbly, so you really gotta help them in the beginning to stay in a straight line. Now he lost a little bit of his speed, so add just a little bit more leg again. That's good. So now his head's going up and down and his legs are separated. So this is your flat walk. Now, I'm going to change a couple little things as you're going around. Okay. So as his head goes up and down, yeah. he also sways his head side to side. Okay. We don't want him to do that. It makes a lot of motion in the saddle, especially if in time your reins are looser because he's doing well. You don't want their heads going all over the place. So as he's walking around, Again, the up and down motion is fine, but you don't want his head to go side to side. So the way you're gonna fix that is lower your hand just a little, keep a little bit more contact. It's gonna feel like you're pulling on him. So that way, if he starts to pull his head left, you're gonna pull right. If he pulls his head right, you pull left. And you can do it with just your fingers, but you're trying to do it enough to stop his head swaying back and forth. Stop him, back him up as hard as you can. Lean back, shove your feet out in front of you, back him up, doesn't matter if it's crooked, keep backing up, keep backing up. You're trying to show him what happens when he takes off with you. Keep backing up, keep backing up, doesn't matter if it's a circle, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, now just stop and stand there. Bringing our energy back down and then going back to it. Now, if he drags you to the gate, we'll do the same thing we did at the mounting block, okay? So that's a good flat walk. So you're just trying to keep that speed. He's getting a little faster there. So a little half haul. Yep. And the hard part is it's like keeping your car going like five miles per hour. I tell people that because it's very hard to go that slow. So that's good. So you're trying to find out how much leg do I have to use? How much hand do I have to use? Yeah. Your body position, all that stuff is perfect. Now he's a little too slow. So a little bit more leg. And the rhythm of the flat walk should kind of be one, two, three, four. So he needs a little bit more speed. One, two, three, four. One, two, that's it, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you got it. Now again, if he tries to drag you, you just stop him, back him up. But that's good. You're doing a great job. Okay. You're like, finally, Gay, shut up. <laughs> Yeah, so just, he's telling you something, because Gildans like to do that. So he got slow, the next time he might try to go to the mounting block, okay? okay. So if he does, you just want to be ready, like, go ahead and go to the mounting block, let's see what happens there. But you're doing good keeping the flat walking speed. And you gotta, really, when a horse isn't good at gating, you gotta flat walk a lot. So their next gate will be so much better. But if you don't work at this long enough, they are not conditioned to hold the next speed. Okay. Now, again, in the back of your mind, be ready. If he tries to go to that mounting block, what you're gonna do with them. Okay. Very good. Yeah, and you can just bump him with your legs. If he slows down, that's pretty much saying, hey, don't do that, don't go over there. Over there, then you'll half halt. But you're good, and you're... Oh, you're fine. Yep, go a little bit faster. And then with your arms, just keep them still. Everybody thinks they have to pump them. Don't, just stay still, because they have so much motion with their head and neck themselves. So you just want to focus on just keeping him straight and lower your hands just a tiny bit so they're not so obvious. That's it. Now he's slowed down. So your leg, yep, keep after him. Don't let him intimidate you. You just keep going. You got it. So he has talent. He just likes to hide it. <laughs> now... Hey, I don't know what he's in, but it's floating. It's really 
Yeah, that's a rack, but you got to get these gates down first for all of it to be consistent. Okay. Yep, keep going. He slowed down. So he does really well going towards the mounting block. And then he slows down. So remember that. So as you're going towards the mounting block, you probably won't have to push him much, but as you're going to pass it, then you got to push him and make him go again. Lower your hand just a little bit more there. That's better. Yeah, that's okay. Cause I make videos and then you'll see it in the video and you won't do it again. <laughs> Cause everybody picks on themselves more. So see how fast he's going, slow down. Yep. Now push him. Cause now he's going to slow down. Push, 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 push. There you go. See, he can actually go quite fast and he can gate quite well. Now go slower because now you're going too fast and you're going up towards a rack. Rack. So he can rack and that's the gate everybody wants to do, but you want the lower gates really set before you start doing that. Because okay. otherwise they'll get pacey because they're not conditioned for it. Okay. So remember down here, you won't need much leg until you want to pass that mounting block. Okay. So, you know, that can be your rest time. Keep your hands low. Now go faster because that's where he slows down. There you go. Good. So take them kind of up to the corner by the miniatures and then I would stop and give them a break.